Folks, come on over, we're back. Help me decorate the fireplace for winter. Let's see what we can come up with today that'll fit in with what we've done so far. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. We got the fireplace all cleaned up. We've got things on the table that we might want to use and on this table. Now I think I'm going to use these candlesticks today. We've got some wonderful etched EAPG square vases that you've seen. We're going to use some frosty eucalyptus. And what are the first flowers that come out? Even under the snow. Crocus. I found a neat little vase at Hobby Lobby. And I'm making a little rose bucket out of it. We have one last crystal Christmas tree. Or evergreen tree. And the kids on the sled. Our new find at the flea market, the plates made in England. Some new candles and a wonderful MCM pitcher in the lightest lavender. We're using acrylic stands until they run out. I've used a ton and I might need a black one. Yes, I think so. They're stronger anyway. Let's see what we get going on this table. Oh yes. Crystal vase. Frosty pine cones. Cut EAPG relish dishes. Incredible by Bach. Made for Delft. Giant serving platter and a wonderful serving tray by Andrea of Japan. Completely vintage candy dish. And our little collection of windmills. One's a decanter, one's a planter, and one, let's see what we got. It's just a decoration, it's a coin bank. Now I have, if I have room, I have one Oriental Cocoa Pot because of its colors, gold, light blue, and the lightest bits of green. Alrighty, now the centerpiece of our display on the fireplace today, we're going to show off this gorgeous Delft platter. Next, I thought we would balance that beauty with two of the new serving platters made in England. These can take an acrylic stand. The middle one, I really wouldn't trust on one. They're not as beefy as the wood, even though we like to be clear. You need to weigh all those things for your design. So let's go with a frozen fern in the back. Maybe, maybe these are taller. We'll try a couple of the frosted eucalyptus. This is a taller piece. It's going to go on the hearth. So I thought this white Timothy would be a cute accent. If I can hold it in place and to match what well, We've already done some lilies here in the vase and keep it calm down and white. I think that's got it and how about an antler? We better go in the front. That should brighten up our dark, everything's missing hearth. <laughs> Compared to the holiday, 
Okay, so I've made up this little vase, like a rosebud vase. Then I've got the two EAPG. Now I'm going to go with a frozen or frosted rather eucalyptus paste and that first little flower that pops up even in the snow is the crocus and we'll keep it mild with just the white little fleck of lavender in that flower and I think I want to get those put up here probably a formal design like this these are tall I wanted them together but they might not work here I don't have any lower that are this pretty I really want to use them but I'm struggling with covering anything you see that Okay, this is making more sense. Move in between things and away from the main pieces. And let's counterbalance our vase. Maybe with the tree and the sled. Just never get tired of looking at beautiful. You know how I talk. <laughs> I think the cocoa pod is going to take the place of the shorter candlestick here because I want to show you that complete formal balance all the time over and over and over and over is boring. So I avoid it and it is more fun to do an informal balance. Let's look at our windmills. Oh, they're cute. Probably the best one needs to be in the center again. And that makes that picture almost three dimensional. Can we squeeze in the crystal serve dish with the pine cone? I think I want them in the background. Then it won't look busy, even though you're thinking it, it is busy. <laughs> We're maximalists and we enjoy our collections. We want to see them. We want to get them out. Oh boy. See that whisper and you know I gotta have this. Let's do a trade. That whisper of lavender in here. So we're not monochromatic and boring. <laughs> Right? That's all it is. Now our EAPG candy dish is going to finish us off. Good heavens, guys, I think. I'm going to have to take it and show you all around.
my goodness, folks, now with just a tweak here and there, we're all done. Hopefully you liked our video today. Decorate with me for winter. Get your inspiration on. Have fun. And give us a like, a share, a comment. Send a friend over. See you soon. I think we have more decorating coming. And check out those stores. You new folks, consider subscribing too. We have a lot of fun here. Look at all the wonderful people in the comments. See you soon.